definitely. Because your MAGA dairies, they can buy everything in bulk. It's like your MAGA farms. Your, your crop farms, they can buy everything in, in bulk. And, and uh, yeah, it, it, it makes it hard. But your small dairies got to live on selling breeding stock. That's where they can survive selling breeding stock. You know, and I think that's one thing that's kind of ruining farming is equipment, technology. It, it, I, I'm not going to say it's ruining it, but it's pushed a lot of small guys out. Because you take one, one guy, one person now can farm what 10 guys was farming 20, 25 years ago. Um, you know, with the size of equipment, the kind of technology we've got, it's really made it tough on the small guy to to compete and to, to stay in stay in it. It's very scary. It's, it's, you need to buy in or go in partnership with somebody. It's this yeah. like my, my nephew uh, took over uh, his father-in-law farm. That's how he, yeah, you can't afford to go out there and start on, even if you had to farm. Tell you about uh, milking parlor up to standards now, uh, you probably could have 50, 75,000 in the milking parlor alone. That'd be a pretty simple one. Well, I think you, you some of your greatest doubters about what you're doing here are farmers who have past experience have grown up in a different system. Another generation, an older generation, not really understanding about permaculture and the way everything looks here and how the farm is laid out and about growing all these different sorts of crops. Well, if they want to do it, just do it. And they have to sacrifice, I know.